Super Bowl Sunday hunt. Brainy's got the first one out here. We're at the sand pits, the developmental sand pits, as you can see. Here comes the warehouses. Time's running out. All right, why don't you pull that out? That's yeah, pretty cool. Petrified wood. Nice yeah. little edge on it. Cool. I think we're gonna find a bunch. All right, thought we'd get it on tape. Brandy's got a little milk glass marble. Yay. Cool. This used to be an old farm place about a hundred years ago with a couple of houses on it. So from time to time we find coins and marbles and bottles out here. I got my first find here. Looks like an East Texas knife to me. Real colorful, petrified wood. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Getting ready to leave uh, this place, and on our walk out, Randy came across this sucker right here. Looks like a giant paleo flake blade. Why don't you pull it up? Damn. Wow. That sucker's bad. Damn, let me see that sucker. Wow. <laughs> that is killer. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday's hunt. Here's some of the artifacts we found Sunday. Here's the first point Brandy found. A little petrified wood notch point there. You can see the cortex on both sides. Here's that little uh, knife I found. It's got some awesome color. Also petrified wood. Kind of crude there with that knot in it, but I think the color makes up for it. Here's some of the flint for the day. That paleo flake knife Brandy found. It's pretty awesome. Laying right out in the middle of the road. Don't have a lot of flint around here, so that's an awesome addition. Here's another piece of one. Come from the same site. This one's all broke up. And just another little piece of flint with some micro work on it. A couple of pieces of silicate. It's kind of amber colored. And this piece here is that clear looking stuff. Kind of hard to capture it. Found a couple of polished stones. It's awesome uh, quartz hammer stone and you can see the bands running through it. It's very polished on this side with a notch right here where your thumb just fits in perfect. It was found in between these two camp stones here so there's a good chance it might have been used on one of these to polish or grind on stuff. These are unusual. They're made out of a real hard stone where most of ours are usually sandstone around here. Here's some of the petrified wood that's got a uh, agatized sap running through it. Nice and sparkly. This has got a killer amber band going through it. This one just looks like melted lava. It's crazy looking. The bottom side's all sparkly and bubbly. Then we came across a new spot out here and we started finding all these fossils I think this one here is my favorite one of the day rock solid snail there it's real heavy too it's got some awesome sparkle to it so does that sucker the whole inlay is sparkly here's a mystery maybe it's a petrified pig nose probably some kind of snail or something but it's very unusual this one here's got a little baby attached to it some of these have these real sparkly bands running through them this whole inside of it looks agatized
that looks pretty cool here's a inside section of one some different colors some of these have orange on the inside this one's sparkly orange it's got a lot of black in it overall we had a real good day All right, get back to y'all later. Here's that little milk glass marble that Brandy found. Along with some of the other marbles we found over the last couple years out rock hunting. Here's some more raw material from that site. Another piece of flint. Besides that flake.